Chapter 11 Force, Work and Energy To open or close the door of your room, you pull or push it. Similarly, to move your table, chair or any other object from its position, you pull or push it. This pull or push on an object is called force. So, we can define force as a push or a pull that changes the position, direction or shape of the object on which it is applied. To stop a moving object, we apply force in the direction opposite to motion. Forces can change the shape of objects and change the way they are moving. Types of Forces Force plays an important role in our daily life. No work is possible without the application of force. There are different types of force. Let us learn about the forces of gravity and friction here. Gravity. What happens when you throw a ball up? When we throw a ball upwards, it goes up at first and then falls down on the earth. Similarly, when we release a stone from a height, it falls back on the ground. It is the force of gravity that makes these things fall. The earth pulls everything towards its center. This force is exerted by the earth is called the force of gravity. Friction When we roll a ball on the ground, it moves from some distance and then stops. What makes the ball stop? The ball stops because of friction. When an object comes in contact with a surface, a force acts between them and resists the motion of the object on that surface. This force is called friction. Friction is a force that holds back the movement of a sliding object. We can find friction whenever objects come in contact with each other. The force acts in the direction opposite to the way an object wants to slide. Friction plays an important role in our day-to-day -day activities. Due to friction, we are able to walk. In the absence of friction, vehicles would not be able to move on the road. When brakes are applied, a vehicle stops due to the friction between the brakes and the wheels. It is also true that, in the absence of friction, anything that starts moving will not stop. Smoother the surface, the less friction there is. At times, friction becomes harmful. Inside a machine, there is friction between its moving parts. To overcome friction, the machine has to use more fuel. Friction causes wear and tear in a machine. Friction in machinery can be reduced by adding lubricants, such as oil. This creates a smoother surface and reduces friction between the parts of a machine, thus reducing the amount of wear and tear as well. Friction produces heat. Rub your hands quickly together. Can you feel your palms getting warmer? When there is friction between two surfaces, heat is produced. A space shuttle coming back to Earth from the outer space has to enter the Earth's atmosphere. The friction between the speeding craft and the atmosphere creates so much heat that the space shuttle glows red hot. Work in the world of science, work is said to be done when a force applied to an object moves that object. When you push a ball, though you apply force, the ball does not move. This means no work has been done. When you hit a ball with a bat, the ball moves or changes its direction of motion. This time, the work gets done. Imagine you are holding your heavy school bag full of books above the ground. Slowly, your arms get tired and the bag feels heavier and heavier. However, no work is getting done on the bag. Then you cannot hold it anymore and keep it down. We say work gets done as the position of the bag changes. A movement happens. If you pick up the bag again, once more work gets done. The work done can be calculated as work done is equal to Force applied on an object, multiply distance moved by the object. When you play, run or ride your bicycle, you need energy. In fact, we need energy to do any work, even to speak and to laugh. 
So, energy can be defined as the ability to do work. Some sources of energy. Sun. The sun is the primary source of all energy on earth. The energy from the sun is called solar energy. We get light and heat from the sun. Sunlight can be used to cook food in a solar cooker or to heat water in a solar heater. The energy that we get from food has its source in solar energy. Plants make food using sunlight, thus trapping the energy of the sun. Human beings and animals eat this food for energy. Wind. Moving air is called wind. A moving thing has energy and can do work. Wind rotates the blades of the windmill to produce electricity. In ancient times, ships were powered by wind to move in the seas and oceans. Water. Water stored in the reservoir of a dam has a lot of energy. This water, when released, moves and rotates the turbines of the generators to produce electricity. Simple machines. It is hard to fix a nail into wood with your hand, but much easier with a hammer. Tools such as the hammer are called simple machines. They make our work easier and faster. Scissors, knives, screwdrivers, and bottle openers are some simple machines that we use commonly. Why do we call these simple machines? It is because they have only one moving part or none at all. When we put simple machines together, we get a complex machines such as a car or a washing machine. Simple machines can be categorized as lever, pulley, wheel and axle, inclined plane, screw and wedge. Machines increase the size of the force we apply so that we can perform a job with less effort. Inclined plane An inclined plane is a sloping surface which is used to push or pull heavy objects to a certain height. A familiar inclined plane is a ramp. Ramps are used in factories to move items into and out of a loading bay. They are also used to load cars onto transporter trucks. In hospitals, ramps are used to move stretchers and wheelchairs. Wedge A wedge is a tool whose one side or end is a sharp edge. It is used to cut things. An X is a good example of a wedge. The downward force of the blade chops wood by forcing the wood apart. The blade of a knife is a wedge as well. Screw Screws help to hold things together. We can define a screw as an inclined plane in a round with a wedge at the tip. In a common screw, often used in day-to-day -day life, the pointed end is the wedge. The thread that wraps around the screw is the inclined plane. Lever An easy way to move heavy loads is by using a lever. A lever is a bar that rotates about a fixed point. A seesaw is a type of lever. It is a rigid bar or plank that has a central point, the fulcrum. If you apply downwards pressure on one end of the lever, then you get a big force pushing up the other end. The closer the load is to the fulcrum, the easier it is to lift it. Wheel and Axle All vehicles have wheels. Two wheels are connected by a rod which is called axle. Wheel and axle makes it easier to move a heavy object. Wheels and axles are in everyday use in bicycle wheels, bathroom taps, door knobs and ceiling fans. Pulley A pulley is a lifting device that consists of a wheel and a rope or chain. The wheel has a groove running around it and the rope or chain moves backwards and forwards around the wheel as you pull on it. Flags are hoisted on flagpoles using 